Bananas. DFW Pride on the banner for Bananas. Mm -hmm. Now I'm interested, I know what levels I like to play on. I have Bad Judgment, so I like going to Yoshi's. Oh, uh, I could see it's, that. it's fast and it's fun. And it makes Marth commit to a lot when he swings, which is surprisingly good for uh, Wave Dash based characters. Yeah. A battlefield can be kind of a nuisance. Oh, wait a second. Let's see where Ty DI's. Ooh. Marth DI's out. That is a free down throw re grab, and I don't think he meant to counter there. No, it's definitely one of those, those really heavy mashes. You get a little bit too into it. Yep. All right. Good platform push off there, and the SDI and the jab is going to make sure he gets out of that situation. Yep. This is really, really nasty cornering for Bananas. We see him rolling under the Marth pressure, just trying to escape. Good ramen noodle yep. there, and he's going to sneak that stock away. Yeah, force Ty low with the avalanche. Mm -hmm. Gets the ninja on the ledge, and ooh, this oh. is a potential handoff situation. Fantastic mash, though, I've got to say, from Ty. Yep. He's going to be able to hold it down and take center. Yep. Nana didn't touch down, didn't get her double jump. She's toast, and this is a huge advantage for Marth. Yeah, we'll see what he can do here. Just kind of holding center. Mm -hmm. One of Marth's big things here is that you really have to play particularly around characters like this. Ice climbers. Oh, I like that coverage. Yeah, he is ready. That is not a terribly good recovery move. It's just got nasty magnet hands. We do have Bananas making it back on stage. Yep. Oh, yep. And Marth being as slow as he is, it is kind of difficult for him coming down against uh, Ice Climbers. He does the, he gets the same thing done to him that he does to most of the other cast, honestly. Yeah. All right, coming back in. Got a forward smash. Yep. The squall is very, very heavy on the lag and very light on decent hitboxes outside of having both of Ice Climbers there. Most of what you do is you abuse that sudden pop-up and the sudden burst of horizontal momentum to tag them, get a little damage, and force them to give you a bad recovery. And Again with the avalanche. Yep. All right, Bananas has been holding this down pretty nicely. Full stock lead hasn't seemed to waver since he started. Catch his tech in place. And I like the choice of using down smash right there. Rather than a trying to fish for the grab in the early kill, you keep somebody on the back foot by knocking them down over and over again. Is that going to be dead Nana? Yes, it, it is. It looks like it. I think the big thing in regards to those grabs, though, is that instead of fishing for them, he has this opponent. He respects his mashes, and instead he's trying to opt for something a little more simple. Just rack the damage up to a point where the grab is inescapable. Yep. And ooh. Catches Ty going for a fast fall there. He's able Ooh. to make it over the ice block, but not to the ledge. This is a big lead for Bananas. Low on percents. Yeah, having his Nana at this juncture is going to be very beneficial. All right, just slides on in, catches Miss Dash back. Yep. He's just going to give Ty those little taps, try and maintain control in this corner. Yeah. Ooh, really like the movement from Ty escaping that desync trap. Bananas had him on the ropes there, but he managed to pull his way out. And what kind of DI Ooh. is that, Nana? She got tippered. Yeah, she got tippered and just completely stayed there. All right. He's going to have to deal with Nana coming back. She's a little bit smarter, but not quite enough. Yeah. All right. Settling in. He's just got a popo to deal with now. Yeah, thanks. Banana swinging for the fences a little bit there. Would like to see a little more uh, cautious play, because the longer you drag out... Uh, the Sopo stock, like, the more frustrating and draining it is to be the other person. It's got to be. You can really make these last and make them painful. Yep. Just a little tap here, get a little Ooh. grab. I'm kind of surprised that was a tipper. But yep. Just ran right at the center and just pivot forward, smashed. All right. Yeah, I, for Ty, he's going to need to play high a lot and drift away on pretty much every aerial. Don't worry about getting up aired. Yeah. You're, go to the top of the stage. You're fine. Battlefield. Huge yeah. ceiling. Battlefield has a huge ceiling and the highest top platform in the game. A lot of people think it's Dreamland, but it is otherwise. Yep. Ah, oh, all right. going to need better DI than that. The yeah. ice block. Edge guard situation, yeah. Yep. All right. Nanners will take game one. Well. One thing that I think really stands out for Ty, though, is he's been able to SDI every jab grab setup that Nanners has thrown at him. Yep. That's really turned the tie of the match. There wasn't a single wobble. All of that was just raw neutral. But you also have to ask yourself, if Bananas is able to one-stalk him without getting a wobble, what's going to happen if if yeah. he grabs come into play? Yeah, we will see. I do think that this is a decent counter pick, uh, but it can be quite risky. Nanners is also notorious for being good in the scramble situation. Um, I think it's honestly one of the best parts of his play. Yep. He's actually he's doing something interesting. Standing still a lot. Kind of seems scrubby. Oh, oh, DI. Yeah. T-A-I, no DI. So we got to... 
D-I-E, no D-I. He's got he's to step it up on that front, man. Ice Climbers, their moves are very Oh, guyable. my goodness. And Randall facilitated that wobble? Yep. What are you talking about? All right, that's going to be his second stock. 18% here on Bananas. Yeah, Ty normally loves Randall. Randall is one of his favorite things about this whole video game. I have noticed that. Every time he's gone to Yoshi's, he kind of plays around Randall, you know, wave lands, gets real silky with him. But today, Randall betrayed him. <laughs> yep. All right, and no setup there. He has this tendency to just pull you off of the edge and even deny you invincibility. Yeah. Wow, Bananas stubbornly down airing, just plowing his way to the bottom. Gets a, gets a bit of damage on that Marth stock. Trying to truck his way in. Sometimes, you know, it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, all right. That was a good fade back after the air dodge, but he's still going to get caught trying to come in on him. Yep. Oh. I feel like Ty knew the grab or the roll was coming. Also, watching for a wave dash, just didn't really have a plan there. And yep. Yeah. Same kind of thing going right there. Yeah. Ty's trying to reset to neutral a lot, just going through Bananas. Uh, I wonder if Bananas is going to start down smashing at ledge as he's trying to pass through him more. We'll see. I feel like Ty might be missing just uh, little elements of his movement because there are a lot of times uh, he definitely has a bit of room to move. A little bit, of, or a little bit of time, rather. Oh my goodness, Nana, Nana! <laughs> oh my God! Now, technically, this is a Nana primary costume color. It is. So you know so what that Popo, means. Popo stepped in to help his lady yeah. out. So we know who the MVP is. She is Nana. Like, is the most valuable Popo. That's true. <laughs> of the match, <laughs> is in fact not going to be controlled by a human this time. That's true. I, I did learn something actually. Bananas uh, mentioned it. When we were playing last time, uh, and this last Monday Night Melee. Yep. And apparently the other Ice Climber is controllable when you have the grab with your initial climber, yeah. and when you are in the middle of the throw animation. If you're pummeling or if you're in the middle of the throw animation. But yep. not during the rest of the grab, interestingly enough. Alright, but a quick disposal of his Nana here. Now that's this, this is going to be interesting because Ty has always been just a bit behind. Getting Nana when he's at zero, or getting the secondary when he's at zero, and then having to play from play from behind for the rest of the stock. And all he has to do is take the edge. Yeah. But I think that's this is fine. Yeah, he's trying to rinse and repeat here, gets the tipper. Yep. All right, clean first stock from Ty here. Bananas is up 2-0. This could be the time to puke and rally. Might pick it up here. Yeah. Pretty smart for Ty to wait to fall off, but he didn't refresh his jump. No. Bananas sniffs that out. He's going to take the edge. And yeah. just as quickly as he was able to end that first stock, Bananas takes his own in kind. All right. Interrupts the flow of things. Yep. Time didn't really have it quite planned out. But who he wanted to go for, I think, he probably got mixed signals from his own brain and hands. Yeah. Kind of split the difference between Nana and Popo there and didn't get either of them. No. Sometimes you just... It's like throwing a ball and you know, two balls in two directions to a dog. Sometimes you get a little confused. Not sure which one to go after. Ty might not appreciate the analogy. He but might not, but... Ooh, bananas, sudden aggression. He's Ooh, been playing game. extremely aggressively over the past couple of months. He's really picked... Up. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just residual bitterness at getting camped. I know I have that. I can see that. I also think he incorporates a lot of your play, honestly, since you've come back. Nothing. All right, swings back in. Yeah, relatively low forward B. That's exactly what Ty wants to see. Yep. Uh, getting, like, the slightly higher forward B is nice because you can threaten to go to the platform, go over or drift back, and that's what's been letting him recover. Oh, yep. slick spacing from Bananas. Good DI from Ty, not getting caught mashing. Yep, Bananas just starts swinging. He's going to go up, but not all the way. Yep. I feel like uh, Bananas has a really solid read on Ty's retreat to the platforms. Yep, and just, just to make sure. It's a little avalanche. Nice movement, good retreat. Gotta watch those up airs though. He used a lot of damage and Oh. Yep. yep. Nana just a little bit too decent to be able to snag that one. But he is getting up aired and you know, we just saw 50% raw from that. And you know something? We were talking about bananas uh, kind of bulldozing being hyper aggressive. Ooh. Oh, and there's the jab grab. Yep. yep. With bananas bulldozing and being hyper aggressive right there. Ty expected him to come down on that platform or wave land off. All Bananas did was hold left, yeah. just drift out of range of the tipper, and that forward smash ended up getting Ty uh, killed, put in that bad position. Yeah. He's definitely doing a lot to condition him to shield. I know that he wants to fish for a raw grab somewhere in here, but we could see that change up. Nope. 
That was good ASDI down just to make sure he can get the tech. Slam himself out and get out of that bad situation. But another jab grab. Great SDI again out of there. But uh, Bananas actually, he called out that jump. He did. Right. Tyak, ooh. Interesting shield from Ty. Interesting retreat from the platform from Bananas. Was, ooh, this is, I think that was it oh. for Ty. That might, that might well be the set defining moment. He's going to have to play flawlessly from here on out. Yep. This is down smash territory, and as I live and breathe, we're going to see Bananas take it 3-0 over Ty. Very and convincing. Very, yeah. Very yeah. rapid. That it was. That was quick. I'll be frank. And, yeah, not even a lot of wobbles.